You smell that? That's the smell of spring, and I love it. You know what I love to do in spring? I love to come out into the woods, to walk amongst the budding trees, to smell and to taste the hint of renewal that hovers in the air like a heady perfume, and to listen to the song of the birds who've returned from their long sojourn south, and bury the people that I killed during the winter. Oh, well, I hope I didn't overdo it with the uh, spices. No, no, no. Uh, no, but I'll tell you, I bet I pay for it later, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, will. you don't mind, do you? Uh, uh, let that whale out. Uh. Honey, please, would you not? Oh, come on, jeez. Politeness is for strangers on a train. Oh, that's true. Not for old friends. No, God, how long have we known you guys, anyways? Oh, oh gosh, um, it must be uh, nine years. Jeez. If you include the year and a half that Tom spent in the coma. Oh, <laughs> The salad years, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nine years. Jeez, that's a long time, eh? God, I bet you guys wouldn't even mind if I, uh, hike my pants down a little now, would you? Huh? Oh, make yourself at home now. <laughs> honey, honey, please. I'm hey, right. would you... Nina, would you loosen up, please, okay? This is the Peaks here, our oldest friends in the world. I mean, you guys wouldn't even mind if I did a little dance, would you? A little bit of a dance, eh? Hey, whoa, whoa, jeez, what happened there? <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> Oh, what a oh, God. God. Thank God for old friends, eh? Oh, you're so right. Jeez, yeah. that's the thing about old friends is they understand everything. You know, they, they know you inside out, you know? Yeah. They don't care what you do. That's true. I mean, it's just a harmless peck on your wife's lips, eh, Tom? <laughs> you bet, pal. Okay, honey, you're embarrassing me now. I am. Relax, Nina. I'm fine. I'm a grown woman. Yeah, come on, Nina. Bram's just having us on. Sure I am. I mean, what I'm having is having you on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else could it be as I undo your wife's dress and run my calloused carpenter's hand down her back? Feels like friendship to me. And sure. And surely we're all hip enough to recognize this. As a classic burlesque oh, of standard social oh, interaction. Oh, as I pick your wife up, carry her over to the dining room table, lay her down, whoa, and proceed to make love to her in a way that you never had the guts to try. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. He wanted to, but he just couldn't. He's impotent. Oh. You don't mind if I tell him you're impotent, do you, honey? Mine? Why well, insist on it? Why shouldn't these good people know about my problems with the old dingly dangly, eh? You're next, pal. I want you in me. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. Oh, 
Oh, sure, Nina, I experimented with homosexuality in college, but then who didn't? Oh, oh. and I drank human blood. Really? There, I said it, and I feel better for having said it. Good for you. Can I get you a liqueur, Nina? No. No? no. I don't like liqueurs. No. No, I don't. Have I been forcing you to drink no, no, liqueurs no. for nine years? Oh, no. And you know one other thing? What? Tell me. Well, do you remember that lamp that you gave us for Christmas? Yes, of course I remember. <laughs> and we told you that we broke it? And that's fine. Uh, no, I no, we that. didn't break it. We hated it. We just threw it out. <laughs> oh. So you didn't like the lamp, is that it, Nina? Well, well... Hey, honey, you heard about the, uh, lamp? Oh, yes, no. I certainly did, and suddenly I have a headache. Oh, and we do have to get up early for work well. in a couple of days. Well, well I mean, I mean... Oh, no. I guess we'd better be going. Guess so? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, thanks for the lovely, uh, dinner. We oh, well, well, thanks for coming over. Nice right. evening. It was, it was a lovely Stop meal. it, oh, yeah, stop it. Haven't you done enough damage already? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, she just. It's all right. It's best. I mean, that the extras before. Please, please don't fine. make it worse. Please, please. We're we're adults. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a safe drive. Well, okay. Well, good night. Well, you ruined another dinner party. Well. Well, I guess we have lousy taste in lamps, honey. I guess honey. we do. What do you mean you can't get it to me by Friday? Well, let me go around you and talk to your supervisor, okay? I'll get myself by you pronto. What do you want for lunch? Smelts and a Coke. <laughs> Hi, who's this? Stan? Hang on a second. I'm just writing that down. S-T-A-N, Stan. Oh. Who am I? Well, I'd just say that uh, I'm your worst nightmare, Stan. I'm calling from Bella's Trucking, see? You got a package of mine hung up in customs, and I gotta get it, my friend. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to take my package and move it ahead of the other stuff, okay? Do you follow? My stuff goes first, all right? Aw, <laughs> oh, don't give me that. Who do you think you're dealing with here? I'm a veteran in this business. You're not just messing with some kid. I'm 40 years old. That's 40 winters, my friend, and I survived them. For God's sake, show some respect. I learned my business in the Army. Yeah, in the Army. So don't try and tell me it can't be done. I've seen too much crap already. I used to deliver it, as a matter of fact. And another thing, uh, Stan, that you don't know is that I used to do your job. And even if that is a lie, you're too goddamn young to know it, all right? So don't tell me I can't get that done, sir. God damn it, I'm a businessman. I'm chairman of the city trucking council. I belong to other organizations you've never even heard of. I'm a frequent flyer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a frequent flyer. I bet I could put that whole goddamn office of yours up for the, the weekend in the Sudbury Resort and still have enough points left over to go to Paris. And you're going to tell me that can't be done? You're going to tell me that when over 20 women have called me lover and I've clove unto them, as the Bible says? Yeah, clove unto... Yeah, I've read the Bible. Yes, I'm well read. I look good in red. I, uh... I pay my taxes on demand. I shook Pierre Tudeau's hand back in 1981 and that's the same hand that's holding this phone. You're goddamn right, you'll see what you can do. Okay, call me back. <laughs> Boy, do I need this. Today's just been nuts. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, but it never seems to get to you. Oh? Yeah, you always seem so together. Well, it's like the way you tie your bow tie. Really, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> it's so perfect. I mean, how do you get it like that? Well, you know, the same way anyone else does, I suppose. Yeah, I could never do it. Whenever I do it, it's always a little lopsided, you know? Well, it's not like I have any special powers or anything. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe I'm just in awe of how well-groomed you are. Yeah, well, sure, but I mean, it hardly means like I'm a member of some super-intelligent uh, race with an extremely advanced personal hygiene, does it? <laughs> no, no, I'm just a perfectly normal mortal human being like anyone else here in the office, right? No one said you were an alien. What alien? Oh, so you know, huh? All right. Hello, Control. Control, this is Delphar 7. My mission is in jeopardy. Destroy the planet. Repeat. Destroy the planet. <laughs> Betty, could you hold all calls, please? <laughs> Thanks. Well, Delphar 7. 
Would you like some uh, space coffee? Some uh, space tea, perhaps? I think we've run out of space sugar, but Betty could hop in the shuttle and get us some of the space stars. No, I'm fine, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How was planet Earth? Fine. So, is there something you'd like to tell me? <laughs> something you'd like to get off your chest? Something you've done recently? No, I can't think of anything, no. No, no, no you can't. Have you read my memo? Well, actually, I just got back. I really haven't had the opportunity. Actually, there is a little something, and I don't know why I'm bothering to bring it up. Really small, actually. Which one? Yes. Yes, this is it. Uh, word is, you destroyed planet Earth. <laughs> and apparently, this is the twelfth one this month, and, well, they're a little worried upstairs. You know, those big wigs. <laughs> they're wondering if you're cut out for this particular surveillance job. And that, uh, oh, oh, when I hired you, I just stressed that this was a surveillance job and not a planet-destroying job. <laughs> was it my fault? Was it me? Did I not make it clear? Was have it there, me? Have there been complaints about my work? Is that it? Uh, no. No, there haven't been any complaints. No. Anyone who might have complained has been blown up. You see the problem? Well, I'm not here to win any popularity contests. Oh, you haven't? You haven't? Oh, no, far from it. Far from it. Yes. As a matter of fact, I believe... Yes, yes, you are dead last on my popularity list. I think it's the planet destroying. It isn't going over very, very well with the people upstairs. And, but I want you to know, if you have any personal problems, you could talk to me. You could always What are you getting talk. at? What do you mean personal problems? I mean, what are you, what are you saying? You think I'm hiding something? Because I'm not no, hiding anything oh, from you. I mean, I, know, I wouldn't hide I things from you. I, know. I mean, I don't know whether you think I'm like, what, a double agent for another planet. But, you know. Double agent? So you know. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Control, got a clue. control, this is Delphar 7. Destroy planet. Oh, shit! Hey, man! This is the best looking man in the world. Lift that mop and a brim bram broom and clim clam clean up the rim ram room. Cause your bim bam baby's coming home tonight. Give my slim slam slippers and my easy chair On your flim flam fingers through my greasy hair And kiss me baby, let me hold you tight I'm in north and south and east and west But even our honeybee needs some rest When I get my jacket and my trousers pressed I'm gonna fall the swallow right back to the nest Don't you win my worry, my train is late I'm gonna shim sham shuttle on a flim flam freight Cause you've been bad Shaking home tonight. Slam, slam, a bim bam, flam, flam, a rim ram. know something? I'm a bad doctor. <laughs> I'm not boasting. I mean, who would? Just stating a fact. I've never really gotten the hang of the whole healing the sick thing. And don't interpret this as, as some sort of false modesty, please. It's not. It's not like I'm weak in some areas. No, I'm homogeneously unqualified to practice medicine in any capacity. I really don't have a clue. <laughs> And no one can be more shocked than me that I've been allowed to rise to a position of such importance and responsibility. I guess it all started in high school where I was a very bad science student. <laughs> one day when we were supposed to be uh, dissecting a frog, I accidentally disassembled my desk. <laughs> oh, but you know, I was a popular kid. You know, the other students were always very eager to help me out. So, you know, during a test, whenever I get that confused look on my face, <laughs> which was invariably... <laughs> Well, the cheat notes would just start flying. <laughs> Even the teachers would start whispering answers, you know, <coughs> mitochondria. <laughs> but I didn't worry about it. I figured, how far can you coast on charm? <laughs> well, pretty far, actually. <laughs> they just offered me the job of chief of surgery. <laughs> Apparently, I've logged more hours in surgery than any other man my age. 4,000 hours this year alone. What no one seems to have noticed is that it was all with the same patient. <laughs> oh, I want to show you something. You know what this is? Urine. Another man's urine. I ask for it, and they give it to me. 
I don't know what to do with it. I've got a fridge full of this stuff. I mean, I suppose I could send it out to the lab, but they'd only send back a lot of test results I couldn't possibly understand. The only thing I'm actually sort of good at is referrals. You know that thing where doctors send patients to other doctors? Well, I'm the king of referrals. What I do is I call the, um, the sick person into my office, and I stare for a long time really seriously at this blank sheet of paper. Then I say, hmm, I'd like you to see someone. He's a specialist in this area. <laughs> there are specialists who have their whole career based on my referrals. I am the, I am the cornerstone of a medical empire. <sighs> Well, I really should be going. I've got to tell the family that the, uh, the patron didn't make it. It's the hardest part of being a doctor. I think. <laughs> tell you one thing, Stan Larson and his cronies are not going to drive yours truly into an early grave. Of course not, dear. I mean, I may not have a college degree or a beautiful wife or a talented kid, but I got my family. Your family, yeah. dear. Oh, pass the salt, will you? In a minute, I gotta do another set of 50. <laughs> Bob, would you pass your father the salt? Do you really need so much salt? Yes, I like flavor. Hon, you know how your father loves his flavor? Pass him the salt. For All me. right, as soon as I do the other arm. Pass the salt, family! <laughs> And after dinner, take out the garbage. All right, I'll take out the garbage. When? Soon. Well, soon isn't marked on the clock, Bob. <laughs> if you're such a weightlifter, how come you can't lift some garbage? Huh? Huh? I will. All right, we'll take the garbage. I am. Have you got the garbage, Bob? Yeah. Bob, I think you forgot about that garbage. <laughs> I don't think he took it. Pass the food, I used too much salt. My name is Bobby Terrence, and this is my story. Taking crap from my parents is my life. But excellence in the face of rock is my creed. I was rocking out in the garage one afternoon, experimenting with what I call sound shapes. Little did I realize that afternoon that fate had booked my services for the roughest task of my young life. The gig? Defeat the devil. What do I owe this pleasure, Satan? <laughs> Bobby Terrence, I have been listening to your music in hell. You are the strongest guitar player I have ever seen. Oh, really? Yes. I must defeat you before you form a band. Well, then let's... Rock. It is so written. So now, let it be played. Nerf, nerf, yeah. Start with the holy trinity of rock. David and Goliath, 
so too Bobby and the devil. David had a stone, but I, I have a wah-wah pedal. No, 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 no. I'm seeing someone. Oh, you're looking at me, Bobby. garbage, which you forgot to take out. I'm going to take out the garbage. Fine, where should I put it then? I don't know. Why don't you put it out by the garbage? Fine. <laughs> so you know where it is. Don't forget to take it out, mister. I guess I just earned my place in rock and roll heaven by sending Satan back to rock and roll hell. <laughs> 